If you're targeting really skittish quarry and want to keep your shooting productive, you can't beat building a really good hide. That involves creating a screen to optimise concealment, and my first choice for that job is a net hide. Choosing a site to build a hide is the same as when you're using natural cover. You need to be comfortable and you need to be able to take clear shots. It's also important to have a good backdrop. You don't want light flooding in from the back of the hide, silhouetting you when you move and blowing your cover. Think about where your shots are going to go. Safety is paramount. The first thing you need to do is clear the site. Push away the leaves and the twigs, anything else that might rustle and catch if you need to shift your position in the hide. Then it's time to get the hide poles in, the main structure of the hide. Where you put these dictates the height of the hide and how much space you've got to move on the inside. Think about how high you need the hide to be to keep you concealed and how much legroom you need in front of you to be comfortable and be able to move to shoot. Drape the net onto the poles. Keep it tight to stop it sagging and prevent it flapping in the wind, which will draw attention to it. Peg the base of the net to the ground, either with camping pegs that you've brought with you or sticks that you've picked up from the woodland floor. This will pull it out away from the poles, giving you more leg room, and it'll also add to the tension and stop it from flapping if there's a breeze blowing. Dressing is the craft of hide building. This is the stage that will make or break your finished hide. We're disrupting the straight edges, the lines of the poles, the squareness of the hide netting. To do that, we're weaving vegetation from the surrounding area to blur those edges into the natural environment. Right, let, me, let me have a look and see what I'm doing. When you're cutting foliage, make sure you go for weed species, nettle stems, ivy, elder, and make sure you've got the landowner's permission before you go hacking. If you're using leafy material, keep it the right way up. The underside of a leaf can often be a different colour from the upper side of the leaf, and that will give the game away. A little foliage can make a big difference when you're dressing a hide. There's no need to completely cover it. You're just trying to disrupt that outline. As you're going along, stop, step back, have a look at your work and see how the effect's shaping up. It's easy to overdo it. Keep the material close to the netting so that you can push the muzzle through 
and take clear shots without it being obstructed. And remember to leave windows to shoot through. down lift. <laughs> Building a hide in the woods can be a noisy business, so it pays to construct your hide the day before you intend to shoot. But it's worth the effort. Get it right and it'll really improve your shooting. <laughs>